weekend. Let's get to Hillary Clinton, the front runner for the Democrat nomination. She wants to raise capital gains taxes on wealthy people. Joining us now is Pete Schneider. This is another move to the left, I think, Pete. Um, what do you make of it? Well, Stuart, she continues to have problems uh, with her trustworthiness in the polls. There's not a lot of enthusiasm in Democratic circles for her. Bernie Sanders is actually gaining steam out there, and she's looking over her shoulder at Elizabeth Warren. That's what it is. It's pure politics. Okay. Now, the, the, the serious issue when we're talking about Hillary Clinton today is the fact that she could, repeat, could face criminal charges related to her personal emails and the using of that private server during a term as Secretary of State. Now, the word criminal just jumps right out at you because that changes the whole ball game if there was indeed a criminal investigation. Is that correct? It absolutely does. And of all sources, this is coming from the New York Times, Stuart. Yep. Yep. And the New York Times, look, they changed their headline. They tried to soften the story a little bit, but they're standing by it. So uh, Hillary Clinton's getting this from what is really her base, the New York Times and all its readers. This now, is a problem for her. Take me forward, because I, I can't ever remember a, a serious presidential contender involved in a criminal investigation during the campaign. This is kind of unique territory. Well, Stuart, the Clintons have always been pioneers. They've always uh, <laughs> blazed new ground on exactly what they're going to put the American people and voters through. And, you know, we shouldn't be surprised. Uh, the problem for Hillary Clinton is probably less the criminal charges and all that kind of stuff if they, if they end up coming up. But it's really the malaise in the Democratic Party. The folks who fell in love with Barack Obama in 2008 couldn't stand Hillary Clinton. They wanted to change the channel. They wanted to turn a new chapter. Uh, and these are the folks that she's going to rely on to get her over the finish line. I don't think that they're going to be there for her in the end of the day. At the end of the day, wait a second. You, you, I, I'm pretty sure she's going to be the Democrat nominee. You're going Absolutely, to Stuart. But the enthusiasm just isn't there. This is an arranged marriage uh, between the Clinton family and the Obamas. And I got to tell you, the people who really need to do the hard work, which are the voters out there and the volunteers, they're not going to be as fired up as they were in 2008. Uh, and that's a problem for them. You've got a look of glee on your face. You know that? You're, you're, oh, not uh, at all. Look, not at all. This is a sad day and a sad chapter for America, Stuart. That's right, man. <laughs> Just that's that's, that's pretty true. Yeah, yeah. Let's concentrate on American <laughs> technology instead. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, welcome to the program. Thanks for joining us. We do appreciate it. We'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Stuart. <laughs>